Hello guys, I'm Outlaw. Today I'll be showing you how I ranked up from Master Guardian Elite to Legendary Eagle Master. In a span of three months. This I did this last year during post pre-patch I guess. Yeah. So yeah, let's hop into it. The first map which will be sh which I will be showing you is going to be training aim CSGO 2. Okay, let's hop into the server and I'll tell you about the server. Oh guys, uh, one thing I want to mention is that I'm I'm only like I'm streaming this, I'm recording this, that's why this is not really my native resolution. I'm recording this in 16 to 9. I usually play in 4 to 3 with black bars. So, yeah, my sprays and my flicks won't be so accurate. So one thing about this map is that dots are gonna appear and you gotta aim and try to flick with f flick and get the red dots. So what this does is it helps your raw aim improve a lot by increasing your accuracy. And th what this technically does is it helps improve your flick shots, I guess. That's what you call it. So what you go do is you go to the amounts, you increase it from 25 to 100, the delay to 0 0.25, and the static tower duration to 0 0.5. So you just want to hop on to level 2 or 3, think level 2, then you just press start, then you just get the flick shots. Okay, you gotta flick and try to hit hit the shots. So usually you'd score around, I'd say you'd score around 50 or 60. I usually get around 50 or 60. So you want to get something around that score or if you're a beginner, even 40 is good. So that's what you want to do. And this helps a lot, honestly speaking. So this is the first part I'll show you. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to learn about recall control. Okay guys, so basically what you want to do, first off first, we're going to talk about spray control, but the first thing you got to do is go to, you're going to exec this practice CFG. I'll link the, I'll link the link to the CFG down below in the description. Then you want to write this code as well, this command, SV underscore infinite MO2. I'll also write this down in the description below. So after that, you just want to buy an AK. So technically in spray control, it's about controlling the spray. Usually when you spray with the AK, let's see how it looks like. So basically what happens is that the bullets, they go straight up, then a bit to the right, then it goes left, then it goes right. So how you want to counter that, right? So to counter that, you just want to do it in, you want to pull it in the mirror opposite direction, which is down right, then left, then right. So let's see what happens when we do that. It looks something like that. You want to make it as compact as possible. So you uh, also you want to try it from different ranges. From think I tried it from here. Next thing you want to do, you want to try it from here. But when you're playing it from a really long range like this, it's preferred you burst. Bursting is something like this. Milli bursts of four to five bullets. Don't try to spray in such long distances. And guys, in trust me, when you're initially practicing. Spraying, it's really tough. So what I suggest is that if, even if you're not really good at it, then you could do this. You can let the first two bullets land anywhere you want. Then you want to pull it down right. Something like this. It should make the first ten bullets go in one direction. Okay. It's like, it's like a mini spray. Something like that. Y it's like... You let the first two bullets go wherever they want, then you pull it down right. So that's technically it for the AK. So next thing I want to do is hop into the CT side and show you the M4A1. Technically the M4A1 does not really have a spray, but let's still look into it. Let's get this done. So the M4A1. It's just a T sign. Okay, so it just goes up. Then it goes right. So you just want to counter that. 
pull it a bit down right that's pretty much it for the m4a1 it's really easy guys basically guys the next thing i want to talk to you about is crosshair placement usually at a lower skill level the oppo you guys tend to place your crosshair at the foot but that's a really bad idea you should always keep your crosshair at the head level make sure it's always at head level because when you go f when you hit them at the leg they get l less damage and if you try to flick it from the leg to the head it takes time you you'll usually die by that time so t always try to keep it at head level so where is head level that's a good question but it usually comes to the more you play you'll usually know where is head level but one thing you'll notice is that these square boxes you see these in various maps so the hinge you see the bottom hinge like if you adjust your crosshair this is usually the head level this thing over here it's placed the bottom look at it whoa just whoa right yeah so one thing i want to make let you guys know is that when you're going from a higher higher place to like lower ground you should always adjust your crosshair always and vice versa like think you're here here the crosshair placement is head level is here but when i'm peeking into tunnels make sure you already you already adjusted your crosshair to his head level like like this it's not going to be here it's going to be over there make sure you adjust your crosshair it's really important to adjust your crosshair guys before you peek at any angle so that's pretty much it for head level and crosshair placement Okay guys, so the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is going to be deathmatch servers. Deathmatch servers are really important because when we're talking about deathmatch, like you, these are servers where you just keep on spawning even if you die. So these are good places to try out your recall control, your strafe shots, your movements, and make sure what you're doing in the deathmatch servers, make sure you imply or try to use what you learned in the deathmatch in your matchmaking or you'll forget what you did in the deathmatch so I'll list some really good deathmatch servers one of the ones I'd mention is One Asia. it's a really good deathmatch server of Asia many top level players de deathmatch over there so I'd suggest that it's usually full but still you can IP connect so that's pretty much it okay guys the last but not the least we're gonna be talking about a really really important part or the topic it's going to be game sense it's something which honestly i myself lack a lot and you can improve your game you want to improve your game sense but how do you do that you may ask but to improve your game sense you can do the following things you can download demos of pro players or you can just download games you can watch pro games if you do by doing these you you understand what a pro player would have done and you might fall into a similar situation and you would know what to do like you're technically in the mind of a pro you're thinking what the pro player would have done that's technically about game sense and there are often times when you're going to like you know play bad in a matchmaking or something and you might want to learn from that mistake by you can just simply go to watch go to your matches and just just download the demo if you just download the demo and watch it on go tv you can just learn from your mistakes what you did wrong and by doing that th you can easily improve your you know you can learn from your mistakes that's technically it <laughs> and one thing i want to tell you guys is don't focus on ranking up guys instead of doing that just play and just focus on improving your own gameplay and you're automatically going to rank up like if you improve your own gameplay you're gonna rank up it's as simple as that okay guys I've, i said a lot hope you guys liked it do subscribe if you did like it though <laughs> and this is outlaw signing out haha <laughs> guys